Hello, and welcome to Python MyPy. In this lesson, we're going to have a quick look at the Python IDE you'll be using to learn Python. So what we're using here is a Raspberry Pi 4 with the latest version of Raspbian. So all we need to do is click on the little Raspberry Pi logo and then go to programming and Tony Python IDE. This is what we'll be using to generate our Pi code. It's basically a text editor that interprets our commands into Python programs. We're going to go over the very basic interface. So we can click on new and that will open up a new tab ready for a new file. We can then type in some information. This is my first usage of the IDE. And then we can click on the save icon. Now what I'm going to do is create a folder structure for these tutorials. So I'm just going to go into documents. I'm going to click on the new create folder icon over here. And I'm going to type in Python my Pi. And click on create. Then I'm going to create another one, season one, and then I'm going to create another one, which is the IDE, and click on create. And now I'm going to click on name up here, I'm going to type in program.py. So remember all Python files end with py, so we're going to click on OK, and that is now saved. Just to prove this, we're going to close that down. Oh no, I've lost all my work. No, nope, we'll just click on the load and we'll go into documents python my pi season one ide program.py and there you go our text has arrived back um, if we click on run current script we'll get a bunch of error messages as you can see because we have not typed in any code at all we've just typed in a sentence it won't understand but every time you get an error you'll get a syntax error telling you exactly what is going wrong if you want to get rid of this assistant, you can simply get rid of it there. If you want to clear off your shell area, simply hold down Control and L on the keyboard, and that will clear it off. You can also debug the current script as well, which we'll talk about more about later. And you can stop and start the back end. So if I click on that, you'll notice Python has restarted. So if your program ever crashes and loops, that's how you can kill it. You also have a bunch of other features up here. You can open system shell and all sorts of other things, but we're just gonna focus on the basics of the IDE and not, too, and not worry too much about those features until we need to. And with that, that brings you to the end of lesson one. So I hope you come back for the next video where we'll start doing something useful with our Pi interface. Hi, if you'd like to see more content from us, please like and subscribe this channel. Thank you.